Today I want to talk to you about a book I bought many years ago by an American author called Tom Hartman. It's um, a book called The Last Hours of Ancient Sunlight, which I think was published in 1999. I didn't discover this book until I think it was 2003. Anyway, um, I found this book quite shocking and very informative, and it transformed my thinking about uh, environmentalism particularly. It's not just a, an environmental book, it's about, um, about history, uh, economic, economics, politics, sociology, religion, philosophies all combined. But it's um, really a book about the mess that we got ourselves in through technological living and how we got there and this starts off to a large extent with the history of Hispaniola and Spain and the colonization um, it's quite a bit about Columbus and it goes on to describe how we've ended up with this industrialized society based on fossil fuels and it's got rather a curious title and um, he points out that um, both oil and coal is essentially st stored sunlight. Um, that might, might sound kind of strange, but when you think about it, um, both oil and coal are made of compressed dead plants that have been put under enormous pressure over a vast amount of time. So, at some point in the past, huge amounts of vegetation that had died, um, as they rotted down, uh, they became compressed, uh, probably by huge changes in seismic activity, ended up underground and uh, under vast pressure, which you know formed the the oil, and under even more pressure. Uh, formed into coal. So you know, vast quantities of dead plants is what form these deposits. So that's what we've been drilling and digging up for 300 odd years and in, in the case of uh, oil obviously that's more like the last hundred or so years. But that is what has powered our lifestyles in um, certainly in the Western countries and uh, well every, every sort of country that's attempting to be modern in any way has relied on these fossil fuels. So um, it really impressed me this book so much so that I um, not only gave away my own copy but I bought an additional seven copies which I also gave away. So I wrote my name in the, the inside cover and whoever I gave the book to, I asked them to do the same and then pass the book on to somebody else to read because I felt this book was so important, so um, so much of a game changer in, in the way it, it challenges your thinking that I thought, I really wanted lots and lots of people to read this. So I have no idea where these eight copies are now. I'm hoping that whoever got them did read it and then pass it on to somebody else and I hope they haven't just left it on a shelf somewhere. So since then I think there's one or even two revised editions of this book. Um, but I haven't read those, I've only read the original version. And um, it certainly has shaped my attitudes to a large extent over the last 20 years. And it's a book that I still think would be relevant today. And I strongly recommend anyone that's interested in all these areas I've talked about, history, philosophy, religion, etc., that it's 
something that's well worth reading. So, anyway, that's all I've got to say for today. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.